Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwander and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Dave Madsen. He's the CEO of Sandler. Welcome, Dave. Thank you. There's one thing that I remember from David Sandler, which is that nobody can enter your castle without your permission. Yes. Explain that technique. That was an analogy that he used and he said, listen, it's really hard as being a manager. You've got to hire, you've got to fire, you've got to have difficult conversations. In the world of selling, you can't control what the prospect is going to say. And your day is filled with rejection and a lot of negative self-talk. So what he was saying is you use the castle as your safe spot, your identity. So no matter what happens in the outside world, no one can affect your self-esteem, your self-concept without your permission. Don't let it happen. And I think that's true. If you really think about it, success it lies between your ears. And you can talk yourself in or out of anything. I know that I play golf and I'm a mediocre golfer and I go to the water hole and I look out there and it's 240 and I say to myself, I can do it, but maybe not today. So what do I do, Gerhard? I say, don't hit the water, don't hit the water. As I walk back to get water balls and I've automatically said to myself, I'm not gonna get there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. And so I think we have to control what goes on in the outside world not to affect us. The second thing is put a space suit on. And so when you are out there, it, let rejection bounce off you. Let people you know, take you for free consulting and let it bounce off you. And then the third concept is no afterburn or reach back, which means once you're in the castle and you review all the things that have happened to you, don't go back and second guess and feel bad for weeks. You know, when people lose a deal, they're, they're moping around. He's saying, hey, look forward, all right? So you can look back and, and learn, but look forward, and that's really where you need to focus in on. And that was the analogy of you're in your own castle and no one can enter without your permission. It's a very interesting concept. Uh, the question I have is how do you eliminate that negative self-talk just by making a conscious decision not to talk about it? Or how does that work? Well, I think, you know, A, you have to acknowledge that it's happening. Right. And it can't control you. Right. And I think the other is that behavior controls attitude. And once you start behaving differently, then your mind will catch up to you. But I think you just have to say, look, I can control this. This is within my right. sphere of right. influence. And I'm not going to let anyone else control what I'm doing. And then right. once you are, take accountability and be responsible for that, mm -hmm. then all the ripple effect of being a victim or woe is right. me all disappears. Right. So the castle is like your personal armor that protects you from the adversities that are everywhere. They're everywhere, okay. right. So final question, how do you keep positive knowing that there's a lot of adversity? <laughs> well, I don't know if you have to stay positive. I think what you have to say is realistic. You know, you are going to lose seven or eight out of 10 times when you're in sales. Mm -hmm. I think you have to then turn it around to say, maybe I shouldn't be looking for yeses. Maybe I should be looking for noes. And Sandler always had go for no, because the faster you find a no, then the more you can spend time on qualified prospects and or you always turn a negative into a positive by saying, well, I've got three no's, I'm almost to a yes, versus, oh, I got a no, oh, my day is ruined, and then it's completely different. Thank you, Dave. For anybody who would like to get more information, go to sandler.com. You find great videos, a lot of information that can help improve your selling game.